Thank you, thank you. So am I on? I'm good? Sounds good? I can be heard. That's awesome. So I got my <coughs> prop with me. So actually my name is Larry McDaniel. I am the uh, educational coordinator for George's Camera. And one of my jobs, one of the things I get to do because it's fun, is put on a lot of educational programs. Uh, we have a lot of things coming up. Uh, if you go to our website, uh, www.georgescamera.com, check out our educational programs that we have coming up. A lot of them are vendor oriented. In other words, Canon, for instance, sponsors a lot of our programs. Uh, is this on uh, this image on right now? This, this note there? Ta da! Okay. We, we have a lot of events and a lot of classes. We have a classroom at our Kearney Mesa store. The cool thing about being in the educational program is I not only get to instruct myself about how uh, the camera works, how photography works, uh, help people understand the photographic process, but I get to help people increase their passion for photography. Uh, here at the City College right now, there's hundreds of students taking many, many, many classes so that they can become better and more proficient at their craft. And hopefully with the understanding of how the craft is done, how they, they can be really good at it, they increase their passion so they will continue on with this, this passion that they have, continue on with their photography. Uh, we offer uh, classes, like I said, and events. We have some events coming up this June. Uh, the one that's on the screen right now is one that's actually uh, from last year, but we have another one the end of June this year for the Scottish Highland Games. Canon will be there with us. Uh, we will be having cameras out to try out. If you wanted to try a camera out, try some lenses out, go out and shoot. We will have some challenges to get you outside and get you going at the game so that you can take some, some great pictures and then we'll have, uh, try out the equipment and play with it. Um, the Scottish Highland Games, by the way, in, in Bringle Terrace and Vista, it is the official games for the, the Highland athletes, for the pipers and bands uh, for the dancers. And if you want something incredibly fun and really awesome to photograph, the sheepdog competitions are there. So we, are, we will be there. Also coming up at Del Mar Fair, many of you are aware of Del Mar Fair, uh, the San Diego Fairgrounds. We have the international show. Uh, I will be presenting eight classes up there on Sunday afternoon, Sunday with Georges at Del Mar Fair. Uh, there's going to be a lot of educational things going on there as well, but you get the opportunity to look at images from all over the world. See what's, what's going on. We, uh, George is sponsored part of this and uh, help out with the judging and that kind of thing. There's also student showcase. This is where the college, college classes, the high school cl classes, photography students from all these schools present their work. Uh, great opportunity to take a look at those and see them. Uh, I can push the button right here. Also coming up with Canon, this is an opportunity if you want to get outside and really have some fun shooting some images. And again, Canon's going to have a plethora, that's a good word, a bunch, a bunch of cameras and lenses out there to play with. And you're going to get to try them out. You're going to have the experts there to help you understand how they work and what you can do with them. We're going to have macro shots. We're going to have models out there to shoot wedding type of, type of images and uh, what we call flying dress. You have to come out there and see it. But this is going to be at the Flower Fields, the Carlsbad Flower Fields. That's where you sign up for this one, uh, not on the Georgia's website. And go out there and uh, Canon will be out there, Georgia's will be out there, and our models will be out there. So go out there and play and have some fun with some great equipment. The day before this, that's on April 16th, Sunday afternoon. The day before that, Madison from Canon is going to be in our classroom in the store. You're going to have two classes that day. One's going to be uh, the uh, basic class on how to use the cameras, how to understand the cameras, at the workshop on that. And then following that, let's see if that's on there. That's Flowerfields again. I don't know what that is. <laughs> Do we have that on there? Uh, there's the Flowerfields again. But she's also going to be doing a class on macro photography. Close-up photography, what's macro? Um, again, there'll be a class on that, and then that Sunday we'll be uh, having the, the program out there at the flower fields. Hanson Fong, Google him. If you don't know who Hanson Fong is, who, who he, he has been for a long time, 
one of the Canon Pro shooters. He's also a professional photographer. You want to learn from the best? Come see the best. And we will have him in our, our store one day. And if you go on to uh, PPSDC's website, you will see information on this. And you will also see that they're having a special program shortly after that the next day. Ah, there's a picture of Madison. Madison uh, Hood from Canon will be presenting the macro class again on that Saturday. A great opportunity. Number one, you get to look at lenses and you get to see what really works for close-up photography. It's not all about taking pictures of bugs and flowers. Understand how, how one-to-one -one ratio works. Understand how flat field works. Uh, she'll be going all over this so that you can understand how to be more proficient with your, your macro photography. And then here's the street photography. When is that going to be, Madison? That's coming up. Um, yeah, that's coming up also. But we have a number of things. So I'm going to leave that one up just for fun. Anyway, at George's Camera, we, we, we handle all the cameras. We have um, the full array of Canon, Nikon, Sony, Leica, all of those, uh, Fuji. We have Tamron lenses. We have Sigma lenses. That's the equipment. The fun thing that we want to help people out with is, again, to maintain, to grow that passion that you have for photography. And sure, we work with a lot of professionals. We know a lot of the professionals. Uh, I do studio consulting, so I get to go into studios and talk to some of these people. But the really fun thing is seeing people who are maybe considered to be an amateur, considered to be a beginner, and watch their, 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 their passion for this craft, for this photography art, really start to grow and, and keep on growing. Uh, if you have any questions, uh, give, please give me a call. Email me at Larry at GeorgesCamera.com. Uh, come in and see us at the store. we got two stores, one in North Park and one in Kearney Mesa, the newest one. We've been around for 59 years now. So come in and see us. If you got any questions on any camera gear, uh, sound gear, uh, any of that kind of thing, please don't hesitate to reach out to us. Uh, we also have a fantastic rental department. Um, probably something that a lot of students aren't going to get involved with. We do have student discounts with some of that stuff, but rental department, we get people coming in from Chicago, from New York, and they are professional photographers. They need grip equipment. They need camera equipment to do a shoot here in San Diego, and we have it for them. That's the largest uh, rental, de rental department in uh, San Diego County. Uh, we have that kind of thing. So again, that's a great opportunity. If you want to rent something, try it out. See how it works for you. See if it's going to work for you. And then from that point on, you can decide whether you want to purchase or make it part of your gear. I like to tell students that the gear you have, the understanding of the equipment that you have, the programs that are on the camera, these are all tools. They're like paint brushes. And I like my students to understand that they are artists. They're artists painting with light. You're creating an image with light. Your first image is painted into the camera. Your final image should be on a print on your wall. Your wall is designed to be a gallery that should be full of your images. You should have your images up there. But you're painting with light, so you are an artist. All these tools, all these features in the cameras, all the modes, all the functions, they are all paint brushes. The more proficient you become as an artist, you'll, ne you'll know whether to pick up a palette knife, a broad brush, a thin brush. You'll know what they do, you know how they work, so you can paint your pictures. Okay, come see me at the store. Am I good for time? Or you need to go on? Okay, but thank you. Appreciate your time. Bye-bye.